We promised ourselves we would never do this. However, we see it. I'm covering it with G's body. We so we're doing it for the Wi Fi. We need, we really need it. I'm looking forward to the cappuccino. It's not going to be possible. It might not work at all, no, so we came here for nothing. They text you a password, and we're not getting that text, so unless we got a cappuccino out of it. He wants to eat my lunch, I want to eat his lunch, but we cannot. Why can't we switch? Because I have to watch my carb intake with the, all the egg mm. mac in, in Turkey, and you will be hungry. That's true. In 15 minutes if you eat that for lunch. So. Done with the gym for the day. Time for another work day. Why not look like those things that you get at the psychiatrist? Those like ink blots. What do what, you see? What do you see? <laughs> you see a chicken. You a always, chicken. you're always thinking about chicken. <laughs> Can you put that closer? Uh huh. <laughs> Walnuts are mini chickens. emerge from our hotel and now we are in the beautiful Aladdin Hill here in Konya. It feels so good to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we haven't like left the hotel at all but anyway Aladdin Hill is a very cool place. It's a beautiful park in the center of the city. It's very relaxed like it's pretty hectic out in the city but here it's just totally chill and I think it's a popular place for students to come chill and have their coffee. Yeah, so we read Konya is a pretty big city. There's two million people here and it's supposed to be one of the most conservative cities in Turkey. So we heard it doesn't feel that way to us because it's also a university town. So there's a lot of students, a lot of young people. Yeah, and no one's like dressed too conservatively. It seems pretty like hip, you know? <laughs> yeah. place is absolutely beautiful we sadly we it's time for us to head back to our hotel we have to keep working but we'll see you tomorrow hopefully we can show you around more or at least share some kind of interesting food perhaps we're gonna show you all of our favorite foods that we have tried in Turkey so far this is Ichli Kofte our first rendezvous with Ichli Kofte was in Petye when our Airbnb host gave this to us it's kind of like a Turkish empanada does that make sense? <laughs> yeah <laughs> I guess so okay. <laughs> and it has some kind of like dough or like flour based the flour is bulgur. Bulgur, bulgur 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 flour which is kind of like a rice and then inside can be lamb or or beef, in this case it's beef. 
ground beef, and it's phenomenal. This is pita, which is Turkish pizza, and everyone eats it. Like they sell it everywhere, but we tried it once in cash, and it was just okay. But we tried it here the other day, and it was so good. So you put some lemon on top. The meat is so good. It's spicy. And then you put what? This? No, the red, the red tomato. That's also spicy. And then you roll it. And this one doesn't have cheese. It's just like this no. delicious but dough. It's very light and, and, and flaky. It's really good. And means it's really spicy. I just spit up. Mm. Yes, I'm hungry. I think this is called Beti. And what it is, is a dana kebab in the middle. It's like a lamb, spiced lamb, like minced meat kebab, and then wrapped with like a light bread and it looks like tomato sauce. You've never had it before. I've had the dana kebab, but not in Beti form, but it looks. It's delicious. And of course, it comes with yogurt. And rice. Everything comes with yogurt. Let's see. Is it spicy? Mm, not spicy, but very spiced. Oh, really? Just to get everything. So, you know that it's like hot? Because they use so many different like, spices. It's very flavorful. It's good. We also got chai because every Turkish meal ends with chai. Even though the, the flavor is not super strong, but it's just the idea of the chai that you just sit after you eat and talk and enjoy a hot beverage and just talk about the meal or talk about whatever and just relax. You just you don't get up and, and it's nice. And it's one of our favorite Turkish traditions. And we are going to end the video here. We hope you liked it. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy Friday! We finally left our hotel. It's 5.30 p.m. now and we are heading to the Bazaar. We made it to the Bazaar, but it seems like it's closing. It's only 6 p.m., but it seems like everyone's wrapping up, so we're gonna walk around a little bit and see if there's anything open. If not, we're gonna have to come back tomorrow during the day. We'll see. It does seem like it's closing. Um, it looks pretty cool, though. There's a lot of spices stores and restaurants and jewelry shops and gold and clothes and all these cool things, but they're all closing. So we're definitely gonna come back tomorrow during the day and hopefully try new foods that we haven't tried yet. And right now we're gonna try to save the night uh, going to a square where a lot of the people hang out and I think maybe we can get some chai there. Have some chai. And some treats? Want some treats. <gasps> this is the little simits. The little tiny simits. And he said, this is orange. And I learned the other day that this in Turkish means good. So I said, good? I said, good. So this one should be good. That's it for us tonight. We're going to enjoy our chai and have our little simit snack and maybe have a cigarette and blend in with the locals. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna enjoy our chai. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Going in. We'll show you around. We've been here for six days now, and this is our home. And this way, we have the bedroom, giant bedroom. The only bad thing is that we have two mosques right in front of the... It would be very appropriate if the culture creator starts right now.
We are back at the bazaar and it's such a different vibe. It's Saturday like 1 p.m. and it's completely different from yesterday when it was closing. Everyone's here doing their shopping and I think we are pretty much the only tourists so we're getting well because of the camera too but everyone's like staring at us but it's gonna be cool because we're gonna walk around the whole thing it's it has like over 2600 stores shops and it, the first stop it's gonna be food because we're starving and everyone has recommended for us to try Etli Ekmek which is very traditional from Konya so we're gonna find that we're gonna eat Hi. <laughs> he, he was saying for you to be careful. Oh, wow. <laughs> We were decent. Yeah, we're being so modest. Boy, yeah, Everyone else is. Yeah. <laughs> All the other tables are ordering multiple Italy Ekmex and just going for it. So just yeah. have, this is one. This is one order. I think, I think. As always, we've been observing the other tables. So you add some lime. The peppers you actually take off and then just use as like I don't know a little snack in between. The Edli Ekmek? First bite ever of Edli Ekmek. It's so flavorful. Yeah, it's delicious. I should get two more. <laughs> this is really good. You can feel, like, you taste all the spices. Mm -hmm. And the cheese is not too strong. And it just, like, it's, this is perfect. <laughs> this is so good. To chocolate. Thank you. Okay, okay. Round, round two, at the Ekman. We had to order that now. It's so good. It is so good. I wish we were better at explaining the flavors. They just have I to wish come we here. didn't wait until the last day in Konya to, to have the Ekman. That too, because we're leaving and I think this is, we leave tomorrow. I think this is the only place where you can find them, right? Mm, I think so. The chocolate. This bazaar is amazing. If you come to Konya, you have to come here. It's part of the old city and we're just surrounded by beautiful mosques too. I think there's one like every like couple blocks and you can hear the different calls to prayer. And then there's tons of great places to get some food, to have chai. And then there's different shops, a lot of jewelry and just like functional stuff like head scarves for women, just really pretty traditional clothing and suits for men. And it's really cool to see. The coffee's warm. It's like fresh out the roaster. I know this one. Yeah. Turkish coffee. Headed towards the Whirling Dervish ceremony. I don't know a ton about it, uh, so I'm not going to explain too much. <laughs> but uh, it's a ceremony, I guess, held by a certain school of Sufi uh, Islam followers, Sufi Muslims, I guess. And what they do is like they do this. They twirl around, I think, very quickly to like connect with the heavens. So from what I've read, they like put one palm towards the ground and one palm towards the, towards the sky. They kind of like connect heaven and earth and then like spin around quickly. And they like don't, I don't know, they don't lose their balance and they just find some kind of like trance. And then that way connects with like 
I don't know, with Rumi or with Allah or something like that. That's where my details get a little fuzzy. <laughs> um, but it should be pretty cool to see. It's like a very unique ceremony and it's, um, it's specific to Konya. So this is like an important city for the Sufi school of Islam. Very interesting. I've never seen anything like that. It is so unique to see something like this. I can't believe, like the whole time I was thinking, we're all so different and it's, and it's so beautiful, you know, that we're yeah. so different. Like I felt so lucky and I'm a little bit like emotional right now, <laughs> but like so lucky that we're here seeing this. Yeah. That is completely, <laughs> right? Like different like i just don't know how else to say it other than that yeah it was a crazy experience like they they're in such like a trance too like some of them like when they're spinning some of them have their eyes open and you just like look at them and they're just somewhere else and it's just so cool to experience something that essentially like a couple weeks ago i didn't know was a thing like i've heard of like a whirling dervish but i didn't know what it was and now we're here in Konya yeah. and just like saw it. And I was thinking how lucky we were to be in Turkey where there's so many different like cultures, especially in Konya. Yeah. And just like seeing people in like different dress yeah. and... What an amazing thing that we're all so different. Thanks Konya. Thank you Konya. Now we are heading for dinner and we're getting ready to go to Cappadocia tomorrow. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Out. Time to say goodbye to Tonya. Bye, Tonya. Hello. Cappadocia. Yay! Oh, good evening. Good morning. Look at this view from our terrace. Let's get some blink look. Stop smelling. That's you. No more dirty underwear. I'm not worried about the socks. <laughs>